28 today. My feet are in graves. I went to Dominic's to buy myself a birthday cake, but the only one they had was this massive round wheel of chocolate I could never make a dent in big enough to justify getting it. So in the largest showing of restraint I've ever experienced, I left the cake and bought a box of bullion cubes and pink birthday candles with spiraling white stripes at the sides. We're not allowed to burn candles in my apartment because my roommate is terrified of fires and metaphors, but I believe in them like I believe in blood. So I purchased them anyway and sprinkled them in my underwear drawer for no other reason it seems like a good place for wishes. The weather is perfect for streaking. I've never been streaking, but if I was to go, I'd want the weather to be something like this. Cake would be amazing in weather like this. I want to go streaking with gigantic cake that weaves icing all over the sidewalk. I want to eat it with my bare hands as if it were a human corpse and I was a zombie from Dawn of the Dead. That cake was beautiful and alone in the world and like most people I've become romantically attached to would have loved me for my capacity to love it and I know I'll regret stranding under the faded carnations multicolored bottles of cheap wine in my youth. I'm 28 today. My feet are in graves and for some reason I felt compelled to wear my prescribed eye correction today, something I ordinarily abstain from just because people look a lot better when I don't really see them. I don't mean this in a negative way, I just think big doughy blobs lined with fuzz with blinking black polka dots for eyes and gaping black polka dots for mouths are strangely comforting when surrounding me on all sides and saying things such as, I like your hair cut and that will be five dollars. So when I looked in the mirror is the first time I'd seen myself in a while. Chicago has made my face shine, and I don't mean that in a beautiful, happy, metaphorical way. I mean in all actuality. Shine to the point of glossy, like my face reflected the mirror, and the mirror reflected my face, so I saw infinity firsthand this morning. I'm 28 today. My feet are in graves, and I want to tell you everything. The jobs that change my posture, the pitch of my voice, how the humidity near the lakefront melts people's faces off in layers. I get bored. I get so bored I watch YouTube videos of teenagers microwaving lava lamps, go to the zoo and talk to the animals in my head like the sun bear has telepathy, come back full of gin because it reminds me of chewing pine needles back home. I get homesick. I get so homesick. I look at anthills and mistake them for mountains. I hear my own bones pop and look for my mother. I want to tell you my shadow reads streets like braille, isolation etched between every brick so that's why. I traced your body with lips moving like cartography, no. I swear it's not that. It's the sad beautiful moments when Chicago is the best sort of theater and I am in the audience with no one's arm to clutch the moment. The skyscraper windows blaze pink ignited sunrise like every morning the ghost of the great fire comes to burn it down again. I'm 28 today. My feet are in graves and I've been eating the onion and sunflower seeds without taking the shells off so I know what it feels like to have splinters in my tongue. I'm 28 today. My feet are in graves and as I walked out of Dominic's, remember Dominic's? I worried I might actually be growing up. But then I remembered I was barefoot in Chicago during a rainstorm and the comfort of my juvenility returned to me like blood back into the cheeks of all those women who look like angels and they mistook their husbands for ghosts. I don't need a birthday cake. The city has its lights on all night for me and there isn't breath enough in this body to blow them out.